You can now use GPT-4 for free. They just put ChatGPT inside of a Boston Dynamics dog. You can now just text a bot on Telegram and you will have your own AI agent. Here is the evolution of AI from 2018 all the way to today. Hugging Face just launched a ChatGPT alternative. Apple is now working on making an AI health coach. One of my favorite AI video companies just released their their first app. So what can AI do in 30 minutes? You can now use GPT-4 for free. This is Forefront Chat, a better chat GPT experience in free alpha. It allows you to use GPT-4 for free. You can also do image generation, custom personas, shareable chats, and much more. So if you don't have access to GPT-4 yet, all you need to do is click on the model GPT 3.5 to GPT 4 and you can use it for free. Auto GPT for mobile is here. You can now just text a bot on Telegram and you will have your own AI agent. Here you can see it in action. It's just a messenger that you can just text with. And one of the best parts is that this is completely open sourced. So you can look at the code and hopefully they can build it together to become even better. Here it says, design a plan to build a company with 100 euros. It's making a task list and the first task is make a to-do list. And the next task is 15 tasks that he needs to do in order to do this pretty well. It's so thorough that it even procrastinates on your behalf. One of my favorite AI video companies just released their first app. It's called Runway ML and to me, it's one of the best AI softwares that can do video. You can film a little short clip on your phone and turn that into many different types of styles. This is one of the best ones, in my opinion, for anybody that wants to create AI videos. There's two ways that you can use it. You can film a video on your phone or of your face, and then you can apply a style that they've chosen and they've trained this model on or you can actually input your own image and transfer the style of a photo onto your video footage. And now for the question, how long does it take for this to turn into a TikTok filter? I just started using this new AI tool that can post viral content for you. It can auto comment on other people's posts and actually send DMs for you. It's called Taplio and just look at this. Step number one to post viral content, just click on the viral content tab on the side. I just put AI into the keywords and they pulled out the highest performing viral pieces of content that is around AI. Now, step number two is just to click on this and you'll actually generate a variation of that exact post. Just click on generate and now it's writing the LinkedIn post for you. Now just edit what the AI is writing for you to make it your own or in your own voice. Click on add to queue. And just like that, it automated the post to go out tomorrow. Now that you have automatic content coming out, you need to build an audience. And the best way to do that is to comment on other people's posts. Just click on the engage tab and here they selected best for you. This guy posted it three minutes ago and all we need to do is just click on add value, congratulate or say thank you. Just click the button and it wrote this amazing comment for me. Now that you're posting content and you're growing an audience, the last step is to reach out to people for opportunities. So in the contacts tab, you get all the people that liked your post or commented on my post. And it has an AI icebreaker that it makes for you so you can make sending DMs way easier. So AI plus LinkedIn, go to taplio.com. They just put ChatGPT inside of a Boston Dynamics dog. So, that's a great question. You know, that's a great question. <laughs> we use ChatGPT to query information and the user can ask natural questions. I was just wondering if I could dictate to it to say something specifically. What is your battery level? Battery level is currently okay. at 53%. What is the voice coming from? It's a Google text-to-speech. We give the JSON to ChatGPT and explain wow. what the structure is and how to read that JSON. Now ChatGPT can answer questions about that JSON. But how many inspections yeah. in your next mission? My next mission involves 20 inspections. Okay. 
Oh I, no. <laughs> You're gonna say describe your next mission, mm -hmm. right? In the context, it's gonna have to be like next mission location. Correct. Or something like or that. Or last mission. That should be pretty simple to do. Mm -hmm. Last mission was room 66. It lasted 30 minutes and there were two thermal anomalies detected. There's two messages. Wow. One is the system message and one is from right. I did next mission as a dictionary. That'll probably be better. Those are spot stickers. Funny thing is, you ask Spot what's his name, and the answer is, I'm OpenAI. That is just messed up. Spot, are you standing <laughs> up? Yes or no? I love the expressions. That's what I was looking for, the yes or no thing. Wow. The emotions are great. <laughs> the wiggling. Yeah. So these robot command, <laughs> very precise, 90 degree or one meter walk, yeah, of course. right? Yeah. Can you please provide a question or a context for me to answer? You're crowding my space. Spot, walk forward. Wow. Go. Apple is now working on making an AI health coach. This is going to be a health coach that could help you improve your exercise, sleep, and eating habits, according to Bloomberg. The code named Quartz will use AI and data from Apple Watch to make suggestions and create coaching programs tailored to specific users. Apple is also apparently working on an emotional tracker, which Bloomberg says is different from Apple's rumored journaling app. Are you tired when Siri doesn't understand you? Well, journal about it. Hugging Face just launched a chat GPT alternative. As you can see, you can write an email, it can code a game, and it can also assist in a task. One of the best things about this is that it has 30 billion parameters and it's open sourced. They actually use Meta's Llama in the back of this. The next logical step must be to create hugging apps where you can interact with the real world, build plugins, just like ChatGPT has now as closed beta. If they can really do this and create an open sourced model compared to OpenAI's, which is closed, they might actually make a dent. So what can AI do in 30 minutes? Does it have superhuman capabilities? Well, here are a couple of examples. Ethan Mullick gave himself 30 minutes and tried to accomplish as much as I could during that time on a single business project. And what it did was astounding. First, it used AI as a marketing strategist. He started with Bing AI and said, look up the business simulation market. Look up Wharton Interactive's Saturn Parable. Now, he asked, pretend you are a marketing genius, we're gonna launch the Saturn Parable. You should give me a document that outlines an email marketing campaign and a single web page to promote the game. As you can see, it started to document a bunch of different things to do to make it as easy as possible for him. Without me doing anything, here is the text of the first one. <laughs> Just a beautiful email right off the bat, right? You also had email number two, number three, number four, with over 1,700 words in two minutes and 40 seconds. Now, step two, he went over to AI as a site developer. I told it to outline the web page and what text and graphics it uses. You do not need to create the web page, but do give me the text. And it started writing the header with a logo and benefits section. Now, he told them you're an expert site designer and ready to create a launch announcement page for Saturn Parable. And as you can imagine, it starts writing HTML. Now turning to Midjourney to create the images like this one, and here is the complete website. He didn't exactly like the styles, so ChatGPT fixed it. Now step three turned up to be an AI social media manager. Can you write me a social media campaign? I need to promote this using the Wharton accounts on social. And he turned it into a video with a script from Bing, 11 labs with the realistic voice and the idea to turn it into video. So it can do all of this in just 30 minutes. Imagine what it can do in bed. Here is the evolution of AI from 2018 all the way to today. As you can see, in 2018, we had three splits of the AI tree. We have encoder only, encoder, decoder, and decoder only. As you can see, 
the encoders and AIs here like BERT and Albert from Google, they all kind of disappeared around 2021. With the encoder decoder, many people are speculating that Google went too far down this rabbit hole and what they have to show today is Flan UL2. We also have Chat GLM, which I'm not even sure what is. Now, the winner of this tree became the decoder only. Now, as you can see, GPT-1, GPT-2 and GPT-3 that get launched in around 2020 spearheaded the evolution of a lot of other ones. For example, Lambda with Google that also has Google Palm models in here, Ernie 3.0, and interestingly Meta with their Llama model being the only open sourced LLM in 2023. Going to be so exciting to see how this evolutionary tree will develop. All right, that's it. Peace.